Morning YouTube family, I'm Jackie from Gone Potty Gardening and I'm Helen from Gone Potty Kitchen and we are the, the Gone, Gone Potties and it's coffee chat time. Cheers. Cheers everyone, hope you're all well. We'd like to say as well a huge thank you to all the new subscribers to the channel and um, without you, you know, it wouldn't be a good channel. Um, we love the comments, don't we Helen? Oh yeah. I was looking at some of them and uh, you know how helpful and how giving you are you know it, it, it's amazing really isn't it it's kind of like you know we've made all these new friends from doing what we're doing it's fantastic yeah just Thanks. going about our lives yeah thank you yeah. so please do keep commenting and sharing the videos and you know thumbs up yeah, lots of thumbs up, please. It, it really <laughs> helps us. But also, um, that, I was amazed, Jackie, at just how interactive people are. Like, you know, lovely Terry helping you out with tips about the lining the, the bookshelves to make into a raised bed and how to do it to avoid the water. And see the holic lady telling me you know, perhaps to do the overwinter method with a squash. Yeah, that's a really I'm good I'm not actually 100% sure about that. If anybody knows or can help me with that, please leave a comment below. That would be really helpful. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and there were so many others, weren't there? You know, people talking about their foods and what they're growing. Yeah. And loads of encouragement. And also, what was amazing was uh, one lady chatting and... Jackie and this lady are going to swap some seeds, so that's going yeah. to be great to get things moving around the world. That's for Joyce. I'm going to send Joyce some seeds, some lupin seeds, but um, she won't be able to sow them yet. So I've got to get some little packets to put them in Joyce, but they'll be on their way to you. I know you love you, you lupins. I mean, wouldn't that be nice over at the end of the season when things have gone to seed to be able to save some and send them somewhere else in the world? Incredible. I, I, think, I think it's a great community. I mean, we've, you know, we've made friends from the Netherlands, the USA, yeah. Canada. Yeah, definitely. The all UK, over the place, really, Ireland. isn't it? Yeah. All over the place. Oh, the dogs are a bit active and lively. Oh, yeah. as usual. They don't quite get us <laughs> doing this, do they? No, no. Yeah. So Helen, what are you? What have you got there? I know we've got a coffee, but there's been lots of people wanting to know how you make the cream. Oh, the cashew cream. We're going to make the cashew cream, but it's a different blender this time, so it might be a different noise. But <laughs> um, so I use the high speed blender for this one um, because it makes it really very creamy. You can use other blenders. Uh, you might need to blend for longer, but this one is well known it's a Vitamix a classic Vitamix and um, we're gonna make some cashew cream. I mean that was quite expensive that machine but we wouldn't be without it now would we no for, for us it's, it's just... been brilliant I mean we got it in the days when one of those shopping channels one of those well-known shopping channels had it as their special so there was a discount but also um, you could pay by instalments without interest and it made it affordable to yeah. us at the time. Didn't I mean, we it? do almond milk and all sorts in there, don't oh, we? Oh, we make the almond milk for yeah. porridge in the morning, for all the oatmeal yeah. and everything, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Right, anyway, Helen, I interrupted you. You were going to tell them how they made the cream, how you made the cream. Oh, yeah. Loads of you have asked about the cashew cream and how to make it and it couldn't be simpler. So, you just need one cup of cashews and they need to be softened. Now, I pour boiling water from the kettle over one cup in a, um, a heat proof jug and leave right. it for an hour. Some people soak them overnight in cold water. You can do that and it will soften it, but if you use the boiling water, it releases some of the extra oils and something called lectins. And lectins are um, something that's in lots of beans and legumes and nuts. And if you have a lot of them, I don't know if you've had this, if you've eaten a lot of nuts, you might get a, a tummy upset. Um, it's the lectins. 
So they're good for you, but in excess, you don't want too many. So it re just releases some of the lectins with the oil. So they've been soaked for an hour in boiling water and they go into the blender. So is this type of cream that you're making, Helen, is it a lot healthier than normal cream that you buy? Well, it, yeah, I mean, it's dairy-free, so if you're dairy intolerant or if you don't want to eat dairy products by choice, mm. then yes. Uh, I'm not sure in terms of, I mean, it's not animal fats, which is the thing that I'm avoiding. And uh, so I'm not sure about the nutritional yeah. side in terms of how many fats. But um, I mean, it, it, it's not less fattening than a normal cream. It's just an alternative, really, if you want to avoid I don't know. Products. It might be worth looking up. I'm, mm. I'll look it up, and there's some great websites that you can look up if you want to know all the nutrition facts. Yeah. It's not so high in certain types of fats. I mean, there's no animal fats there for a start. Right, yeah, so yeah if that's it, yeah. If it's the animal fats that are a problem for you, then you're not going to get any of them. But, yeah, it, it, you know, the cashew nut is rich in oils. Or oh, the other side to it, really, not everyone has cream indoors if they fancy a coffee. That's but true. But you might, now you know how to make it, you might have a few cashews in the cupboard. Definitely. And then you've always got a nice coffee. Well, should we make it? Yeah, go on. Do you want some in your coffee? Yeah. All right then, well, this could be a bit noisy, so... I'll drink I'll... a bit of this because I'd put normal milk in there. So I'll count you in. One, two, three... So that was two minutes. I want this jar. So I've got a nice sterilised clean jar here. That could probably be the fastest two minutes of your life because I'll edit out a little bit maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but there two minutes and you can see it's steaming a bit. It's got warm which is lovely. So here we go. Look at that. Wow, it smells lovely as well. Yeah. Mm. So there's your cream. So can I pop a bit in then? Yeah, go on then. I'm going to try a bit from here. I haven't got a spoon. There you are. Oh yeah. Try, try a little bit then. Mm. Gorgeous. You do need the two minutes to make sure it's blended really well. Lovely. So that will all get washed up later. Got a little bit on the finger. Don't waste it. <laughs> so there you go, look at that. Cream. Beautiful. And that'll go in the fridge and it'll last, what, about two or three days or more? Yeah, definitely good for three days, four days. I suppose it depends on, yeah. Yeah. Do it depends. If it lasts that long, because it is nice. Um, I've been wondering about playing with it and maybe uh, putting in a vanilla pod or something. Oh, yeah. and that would be nice. Sort of it? making it a bit like a Chantilly cream or something. So. Don't. That'd be nice. If you want really thick cream, of course, just use less water. And some people use three quarters of a cup of water, half a cup. Just depends how thick you want it. But what we've made there and the consistency it is there will thicken a little bit more in the fridge once it's cooled down. So you... Um, do you need, trial and error, really. Do you need to add water if it thickens or no? You just give it a good shake. Yeah, just yeah. give it a good shake. and But the consistency, you know, yeah, that will thicken. Yeah. I don't, I'm not going to eat that. <laughs> I've, 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 dripped, <laughs> I've dripped a bit off my spoon and it's on the table. So I don't know if you, I don't think you can see it. Maybe you can, I don't know. There's a little bit there, but I think Jackie thinks I'm going to 
Look it up or something. <laughs> Have some decorum. <laughs> Later. Oh dear. I'll do it later. <laughs> that sounds nice though, that vanilla cream. Yeah. I fancy that. That's yeah. really nice. So what have you been up to in the garden? Um, well, I've been out and about this morning. It, it's really cold. I've ordered one of those uh, Russian hats, so you might see me all dressed up like that with the big flaps down here outside. She's going to have ear flaps. <laughs> It's so cold that we had our first frost today and it was yeah. cold, wasn't it? I mean, so. it looked a few days ago like it might have been a little bit frosty, but today was a real frost. But today, um, it wasn't really gardening. In a bit, I'm going outside um, in the garage. We we store the coal in the outhouse. and um, So I just want to like put a bit of a frame in there and I've got piles and piles of kindling that I've been saving around the back and sawing. You know, to little sizes for the fire to get the fire going. So to keep it dry, I want to store it in there. So that's what I'll be doing this afternoon. It's great, really, isn't it? Because I mean, even if you if you've got an allotment or a, a, you've got a good plot of land, or even if you've just got some tubs on a balcony, it's just that lovely feeling of connecting with nature. I love it. So do I. It's beautiful, isn't it? I'm so glad we made the decision to move here. Yeah, me too. Um, it's, well, I, 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 you know, we couldn't wish for more, really, could no, we? No, you know, we're grateful, like, Joe. We have a simple life, and... Uh, we are simple, aren't we? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Talk for yourself. <laughs> Actually, talking of that, yeah, I've been looking at something called Signature Foods. And... Now, it might be a bit crazy, but there's, there must be something in this because there's this idea that certain foods that look like parts of the human body are really good for you, like walnuts. Now, we all know walnut looks like a brain, but it's full of omega-3s, which are really good for brain health. And then the tomato, when you cut it in half, heart shaped isn't it and they were always called a love apple weren't they and the tomato has something called lycopene in it that's really important for the health of your heart so looks like a heart good for your heart looks good like a brain you. good for your brain <laughs> and the carrot now we all know carrots they say your mum used to say, eat your carrots, you'll be able to see in the dark. But when you cut it in half and you look at it, it, it sort of does look like an eye. But if you look at it in great, it's not the same shape as an eye, but if you look at it in great detail, there's lots of little striations around the centre. And they look like the iris. So... <laughs> You know, it's incredible, really. It's really yeah. fun. Yeah. I mean, they said celery is good for bones, and um, grapefruits are really, they've got something in that protects you against um, breast cancer, apparently. Really? This, um, yeah, it's amazing, really. But I think this is fascinating for me as a bit of a nerd that the food, as it looks, what the food looks like is what it's good for. So. All science and stuff like that interests you, doesn't it, Helen? Yeah, a bit of a nerd, really. Science of food and... bit of a nerd. Yeah. So what plans you got this week for the garden? Well, I've got to do an autumn clean-up, definitely. Get, get, get it all clear. And down the back there, I've got um, a big pile of wood chips that's been there for quite well since the beginning of this year. So it's been quite decomposed now, so I'll be able to bring that up. I want to spread that on some of the beds with the donk and the muir um, and then I'm going to look into doing some overwintering seeds um, oh, I'm, nice. I'm looking for some good tips now people if you've tried it um, you know maybe I do need to get some of them going a bit earlier in the season because like you know we do get a lot of rain here um, and inevitably, a lot of slugs come with the rain, don't they? And the damp and 
them are best friends, aren't they? You know, the other night, oh. the other night was really funny. She got into bed and started screaming. There was a slug, a black slug that big, oh. on the bedroom wall. How the, how the hell did it get in there? She, the window wasn't open. No, she ran out the room. <laughs> I had I to get it. They're haunting me, they are. Yeah, they are. Oh. the slug. Yeah, you are. I'm, I'm going to have to build in their own little house. Perhaps I should get a little, you know, an upturned washing up bowl and put loads of slimy veg in there or something and let them go there. The slug so, house? Yeah, the slug house. That's a good idea. You're going to make a slug house? I'm going to make a slug house, house now. Look out for <laughs> the video of the slug house. Yeah, yeah. One year, um, I was working in Australia and... I got a text message from Jackie, all panicky, saying, oh my God, I can't stand it. There's a hedgehog in the garden. It's horrible. It's horrible. I hate hedgehogs. I love hedgehogs. But anyway, Jackie thought, ooh, it's horrible. It's the thought of them full of fleas and all that. That's the thing yeah. I do like. But... Anyway, she said, I've got to get rid of it. And I said, all right then. And I thought, well, I can't do anything. I'm in Australia and she's in the UK at the time. That's where we live. Then the next day, I texted her, I said, what have you done about the hedgehog? She said, I've built it a house. <laughs> and then I used to put little pouches of that dog food out and they used to come every night and finish it off. Yeah, but do you realise now why it didn't go away? Because you made it a house. I know. You made it welcome. I know. I love so it. So even though I didn't like it, I still helped it, didn't I? Oh. Oh, oh what a softie. But I'll tell you what's funny. Um is we could do with loads of hedgehogs here to eat all those slugs. Because I think you don't you, you prefer hedgehogs for slugs. I reckon ducks get rid of them as well. I'm not having a duck. No. <laughs> What's a duck do? Well, it'll probably... Quack, quack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but it'll probably not only get rid of the slugs, it'll eat the plants or something. Mm. It will if we're in the veg garden. Yeah, well, there you go. So it'll be no good. And, and the dogs will chase them, so that's yeah. out of the question, really. Well, so that's the cashew cream, that's the thing, that's your garden projects. Yeah. I'm going to do some more cooking bits and pieces, my usual vegan whole food plant based. And I shall be doing a little bit in the garden, I shall film bits and pieces of that. It's not really um, gardening time of the year now, but I still share what I'm up to in the garden. Yeah. And uh, with that everyone, I think we are love you and leave you. And thank you for subscribing. It's been a brilliant week. Yeah. And for commenting. We love it. We love the interaction. We love that it's building a really friendly community. So please tell your friends. But thank you for for um, making me welcome as well. But thank you for being there on the channel. It's brilliant. Anyway, so. you take care, everyone. Cheers. Till next time. Bye. Bye for now. Bye bye. Oh, right. I can lick up that cream now. <laughs> We're still filming. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs>